And our London Bureau Chief Mandy Clark is with us for the latest. Mandy, that report spells out in black and white what the fears have been for the longest time now. And uh, Boris Johnson remains adamant to leave uh, the EU with or without a deal on the 31st of October. Help us better understand is... why Boris Johnson is uh, uh, so keen on uh, putting the common people of Britain at such a risk. Well, you know, he uh, has demarcated this whole battle as the parliament versus the people. He keeps on arguing that this is the people's will and he's just enacting what they want. Um, however, this sounds more like campaigning rather than governing. And as you see in that Yellow Hammer report, it's very, very likely to be incredibly damaging to the UK economy and also eventually the UK people if Brexit, no deal Brexit goes ahead. Uh, so he's certainly facing the enormous amount of resistance. Of course, we're seeing that through the courts. Now, uh, one MP kind of suggested maybe the judges were biased, and that's why we saw uh, Boris Johnson come out very quickly and say he does not believe that the judges are biased, yeah, and po politicians have no right to, uh, to go into that independent judicial um, institution. He's looking forward to the Supreme Court making a decision because, of course, England uh, courts have decided that he w it was not illegal to suspend parliament for five weeks called prorogation of course the scottish judges have uh, said it was so now we'll have to wait in a couple of days for the supreme court to decide but it seems that he's in an incredibly difficult position uh and it's pushing those legal limits uh, to the very very limit absolutely the report uh, says that a no deal brexit could leave the people of the uk at an absolute risk of fuel and food supply shortages. It could leave the UK teetering. We're going to leave it there for the moment. Mandy Clark getting us the very latest from the UK.